Mina is watching. Thank you, Mina. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in Janesville, Wisconsin. This is day 17 of the Midwest Circumcision Crisis Protest. Today is a doubleheader. We're going to be in um, Rockford, Rockford, Illinois, in a few hours this afternoon. It's a rainy day here in Janesville, but we have rain gear on and the rain has actually slacked in the last uh, 15 or 20 minutes. And I'm going to show you the action out here. Our uh, men have the big banner in motion. We are here at a major intersection in Janesville, Wisconsin. Okay, your sons have the same right. His body is choice. Boys are born perfect. Baby bears are not born defective. It is not assembly required. This is an American myth. No other country routinely circumcises infants. It is harmful. Stephen is watching. Thank you, Mina, for those hearts. Honk of support there, ladies and gentlemen, from across the street. And ladies and gentlemen, you're Ashley. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, reverse the camera. And stand on this side with you. Um, uh, Ashley, and you brought your son out here, and he's uh, he's a brave young man. It's it's uh, this is unusually cold, uh, rainy weather. Well, cold, definitely for. Uh, even for Wisconsin this yeah, time of year. Yeah, almost June, yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to introduce us to uh, your son? This is Theodore. And Theodore is back there standing <laughs> there warm. Thank you, Theodore. Thank you for joining your mom. And uh, uh, tell us your story, Ashley. So, I'm a mom of three. I have two girls and then a boy, my baby Theo. When I was pregnant with my oldest, Madeline, she is let's, nine now. from the curve just a little bit here. Um, she's nine. When I was going through the baby book of the stuff that the OB gives you, my husband at the time, we were going to circumcise her. Luckily, she was a girl. I didn't know any different. I thought that's what we did. And just thinking about that, that if she was a boy and I, I would have cut her, it just makes me cry. And that's why I'm out here fighting because I didn't know. I didn't know. And I just, I'm so glad that Theo was my last baby and I was able to protect him. So you're, um, you, you can, you can uh, really understand the emotions that regret moms go through. You're not a regret mom, but, no, but you, you could easily have been I a I could have been. Mom. If Madeline would have been born a boy, she would have been cut and I would have questioned it. And I remember sitting there on that couch talking to my ex-husband and I'm like, why don't we circumcise if it's a boy? They'll, you'll match. And thinking about it, you know, this was almost 10 years ago, and thinking to myself, why the heck would I want my child's penis to match when he, when he was, when my ex-husband was circumcised, it got botched and part of the side of his penis is missing. I, thinking about it now, I can't imagine my child having to go through that. So I'm just so glad I found Bloodstained Men. I found your whole baby and my child was protected. And now my baby sister's having a baby. 
and if she's having a boy, he's gonna be protected. Wonderful. And just let's I'm, give a shout out to your sister. Do you want to thank her? Um, her name is Amber Morin. She is a wonderful little baby sister. She's doing amazing things in her community and too. And this will be her first. Son, this is her, her first son. baby. Yep. And because of your influence, uh, she knows the facts and the yes. brutality. Yep. And she will keep her baby whole, whether it's a girl or a boy. And it's okay. So. Well, thank you, Ashley. Thank you for joining Blessed Day Men on the front lines here in Janesville, Wisconsin. And this is your hometown. It is. Born and raised. And you don't mind speaking out, I noticed. Oh, heck no. I, God gave me a voice, and I'm going to use it. Awesome. Thank you, Ashley. Of course. Actually, as long as I have the uh, camera reversed. If you're a male, this probably happened to you. Do you know why? I've never thought about this before. America is the only country that routinely circumcises infants. Did you know this? No other country does this. Why would they? They condemn it. No reputable organization in the world recommends infant circumcision. Have you ever thought about this before? Boys are born perfect too. Research the benefits and functions of the foreskin. Boys are not born defective. Girls are protected at birth. Why aren't our sons? Girl, uh, and that's a great uh, line to start this interview with. Girls are protected. Her body, her choice. His body, his choice. Girls are protected at, at birth. Why aren't boys? Why aren't boys protected at birth? Why don't men have a choice whether they get to keep their body parts or not? Why are women automatically protected at birth? And ladies and gentlemen, this is Sarah. Sarah uh, is a uh, local mom here in Janesville, Wisconsin. Uh, the local newspaper actually did a story on you uh, several months ago, Sarah. They did. Uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, really your uh, passionate advocacy for American boys. My son was born perfect. There is no reason to slice his penis up. And he's going to grow up and thank me for that one day. And I encourage all men out there to take a stand and speak up for what you know is right. Did you get any negative uh, blowback for that article in the newspaper? Yeah, I did. I got a lot of it. And that's okay. That's more people that are, are listening and taking all that information in. So that's fine with me. So you'll take, um, I mean, that's just the fact of life for intactivists. We, yep. we get hate. We get uh, ostracism. Um, I'm not the one putting my hands on anybody's penis. So. What, what do you say to American uh, moms uh, who will see this broadcast and maybe on the fence, maybe they've got a husband who is demanding that uh, uh, they circumcise their son? I would tell them to watch the circumcision together and your, your mind will change immediately. Uh, there's, no, there's no medical reason to circumcise your son. And if there are, then by the time he's old enough to make that choice by himself, he can go ahead and, and do so. But less than 1% of people are, choose to be circumcised. Nobody chooses that. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for joining Blessed Day Men Thank here you. on day 17 of the Midwest Circumcision Crisis Protest. And I know you will continue speaking out. 100%. For our sons. Will do. Thank you so much. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me reverse the camera. I turned on the front camera um, uh, because the microphone is better on this side. For On, on Facebook Live broadcast, for some reason, the... Um, when I, when, if I do a video on this phone, the, the uh, microphone works the same on uh, both sides of the camera. But on Facebook Live, um, I have to, it, the screen side of the camera has the best uh, microphone. So that's why you're hearing me and why I reversed the camera just now to interview the two local moms. Here's Catherine Franklin, ladies and gentlemen. And the, uh, the men are getting the, this big banner in motion. I will follow along with them. David Atkinson and Daniel Bryce. This is the, actually we have the road crew, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, David Atkinson in the lead in the yellow rain suit. Daniel Bryce in the back. And uh, Catherine Franklin following up with the stop cutting baby penis. And uh, I am Brother K behind the camera. You can see we have uh, two local moms on the traffic island over there. Rob is watching. Thank you, Rob.
And the message of intactivism, ladies and gentlemen, bloodstained men and their friends, the bloodstained men road crew on this 20 day Midwest circumcision crisis protest tour. We are reaching men and women, families across the Midwest, across the United States, and around the world, ladies and gentlemen. The Bloodstained Men protests, the first nationwide protest against male genital mutilation. Facebook. Facebook and the internet, right? Are you doing this on the weekend? We're doing it. We're doing it for 20 days. We have four we'll, days left. We'll be in Chicago on uh, Saturday, and we'll be in Milwaukee tomorrow at Rockford this afternoon. Okay. If you go to the website, there's an events page with all of awesome. them. Woo! We've got yeah. we've we've got a couple of local moms. Uh, you might want to meet them. They're on the traffic island over there. If you have time, pull over and we'll introduce you. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, okay. Well, you 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 can see this live broadcast. You're on this live broadcast. It's it's on it's on our Facebook page, Bloodstained Men and Their Friends. So. Okay, awesome. Thank you. What's your name? Larissa Carter. Awesome. I've got I've got two boys, two and five. Awesome. And they're intact. Yep. Yes, they are. Awesome. Oh. And same with uh, same with some other family members. In our family too. That's how I learned about oh, it. Okay. Yep, my sister-in-law and all her boys. And awesome. Yep, we're bringing it back to the family. Join family. our group. Yeah. yeah. Saving our boys back. Awesome. Back and did you original. have doctors try to talk you into circumcising them? All the time. What? What's the chief uh, excuse you remember them giving you? Um, because it's cleaner, it's safer. They'll like it in the long run when they're older and married. Did family members ostracize you or, or try to pressure you? No, no. Our families did did back us up and support us. Awesome. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you for telling your story here on yes. uh, Facebook Live, and yes. uh, you will see this. Uh, we are live on Facebook right now, Woo, fe right. featuring you and. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Well, David Atkinson, that is uh, really an inspiring story to have uh, a local mom pull over who didn't even know about us, and uh, she has two intact sons. Yeah, it's great. We're seeing that more and more. Uh, people who are excited to show their support and very enthusiastic. So it really is encouraging. Uh, and we're making lots of progress. Oh, here, let's cross the street. And David uh, is watching. Rodney is watching. Garrison is watching. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for your support for Bloodstained Men. And we are all suited up in rain gear, but uh, the rain actually stopped a few minutes before I started this live broadcast. It is cold, it's windy, but nothing like the brutal weather we had on our last tour uh, in the Southwest, strangely enough, where we ran into really brutal weather around uh, Amarillo in West Texas. If you see the uh, camera, tilt and turn here and there, ladies and gentlemen, it's because I'm looking down at the pavement uh, to make sure I uh, know which where my feet are going to step um, because there are cracks and potholes and uneven surfaces, so I, I don't want to uh, fall. So that's why the camera shakes here and there. Uh, Rodney Baker, come. Rodney Baker says, come to Oklahoma City. Uh, Rodney Baker, I may have good news for you. Uh, David Atkinson, Rodney Baker says, come to Oklahoma City. Yeah, we might be there next spring. We're thinking of uh, Kansas and Nebraska and Oklahoma for a, a possible tour in spring 2023. Uh, but, but yeah, we'll announce that uh, a few months from now. So keep an eye on our website. Yeah, but that's uh, potentially good news. And we always enjoy going to Oklahoma. Uh, Jacqueline is watching. Thank you, Jacqueline. Only country 
Karen is watching. Thank you, Karen. Karen is watching. Kenneth is watching. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, all our supporters out there with Bloodstained Men and their friends. Share this live video on your page. Spread the word. Make intactivist posts. Thank you, Karen. Hello. Um, this is how intactivism works, ladies and gentlemen, through social media, on the streets. We had a reporter out here. You may have seen the reporter uh, in the background uh, from Portland, Oregon, Karen says. Uh, we have been to Portland and we will be back there, uh, Karen, as soon as we can. Uh, but uh, you saw early in the uh, this live broadcast, there was a reporter out here uh, taking photographs and interviewing us. So Bloodstained Men is reaching millions of people, ladies and gentlemen, through the streets, through your work, through social media, through mainstream media and we have generated a lot of mainstream media coverage on the uh, Midwest tour here on our last tour the Southwest and on the Pennsylvania tour last fall the fall of 2021 we generated a lot of media coverage because American media the the reporters and the producers everyone who works in, in American media they all have families this this issue cuts across all classifications, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone has a family. There are men in every family. There are boys in every family. This issue matters to everyone, to all people, all people, because we all have men in our families, men and boys who we love. And circumcision is the opposite of love, ladies and gentlemen. Parents don't know the truth. You heard some of the interviews we did here. Doctors cruelly deceive American parents. Circumcision is not medicine and never will be. Doctors have gotten used to the circumcision dollar gravy train. Circumcision profits them $2 billion a year at a minimum. There are estimates that circumcision, all the related industries that have grown up around it, including fixing botched circumcisions. Uh, there are estimates that it's as much as a $5 billion industry, ladies and gentlemen, as much as a $5 billion industry. Hello, Amanda. Amanda Kaufman is watching from New Jersey, I believe. So we are a worldwide movement, ladies and gentlemen, to protect all children from genital mutilation. I will sign off now. I've been uh, keeping one hand ungloved, so my hands got a little cold, but no problem. Uh, I will bring you more live action uh, here on Blessed Day Minute of Friends later this afternoon from Rockford, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, where there was a billboard controversy there. We have a billboard up, and uh, we have invited the press out to talk about the controversy. Our billboard went up in Rockford for one day, and it, it was taken down. Um, and the billboard company apologized to us greatly, but uh, they were under contract to rent. They own the structure for that for our Rockford uh, billboard, but they don't own the property on which it stands. And the property owner demanded they take down Bloodstained and their friends uh, billboard, um, which is where we intended to protest as well. Well, the billboard company upgraded us to an interstate billboard, but it's the, the, the location on the interstate is not suitable. Thank you. Thank you for your support. The location on the interstate is not suitable for a protest or a press conference. So we're going to uh, have a standard protest there. And uh, we have uh, alerted the media that we will be there for a press availability to talk about the billboard controversy. 
because it, the, the missing billboard or the billboard that was taken down after 24 hours generated quite a bit of controversy there on social media with Rockford and uh, went viral in Rockford. So we don't know what will happen with Rockford. We're hoping that, that the raid will uh, stay away and perhaps we can even take off our raid suits. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Brother K reporting live from the front lines of the struggle for human rights in the United States. And remember, friends don't let friends circumcise. Circumcision is not medicine and never will be. Don't let a cruel, corrupt American doctor cut off part of your son's sex organ. I will see you later today, ladies and gentlemen, from Rockford, Illinois. In the meantime, take care, spread the word, and let's stop circumcision as soon as we can, ladies and gentlemen. It is not medicine, and you know that. Make sure your friends know it, and make sure those doctors know it too, with all their crazy, preposterous, fake excuses and their trivial benefits. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Big thumbs up for the man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next time.